A Facebook movement pressuring the Food and Drug Administration to allow gay men to donate blood is now catching on. A local congressman, in fact, is now weighing in on the fight that's very personal for one Western New Yorker. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Elzefon reports. Uh, knowing my chances are slim to none, uh, being able to save three lives um, in one do do blood donation, it fills me with happiness and joy. Jordan Malvigras has stage three fatty liver disease. That's why he wants to donate blood, but he can't because of an FDA rule. Malvigras is openly gay. He tried to donate, but was turned away. Ever since 1983, during the height of the AIDS epidemic, gay and bisexual men have not been allowed to donate blood. And every time I see that there's a shortage of that, I think of it as a lost opportunity. According to the American Red Cross, more than 41,000 blood donations are needed every day. Less than 10% of people in the U.S. actually donate each year. Malvigras is one of many pushing for change. His blood for blood movement asks the FDA to get rid of the restriction. Now politicians are jumping on board. And any policy should be based on real scientific evidence relative to risk. The FDA has held hearings to look into changing the regulation, but months later, Malvigras is still waiting for an answer. I hope that the time, when the time comes that I need to deliver, that, that someone will be willing to help me as well. Uh, and that's really, I'm just trying to pay it forward. And I actually just heard from the FDA. It tells me that they have drafted a new rule which would allow gay men to donate if they have been abstinent for the last year. The FDA is still going over comments from hearings before making any official new rules. Rachel Elzefan, 7 Eyewitness News. Rachel, thank you. Now to Democracy.